I'm a candidate for sheriff. Oh, oh. right next to the ballot box there. Yeah. Right next to the ballot box. So this how we're going to do it. How about right here? This kid? All right. And I've been instructed to pose for pictures, so if I pause for a second here and there, I'm doing that. Uh, good evening. As I said, I'm a candidate for sheriff. And I'll just tell you a few minutes about myself. Uh, first and foremost, before I even get into that, though, everyone should be aware that uh, our department, myself and our department, find ourselves in a very unique situation right now uh, on the eve of a very significant change in the way that we do business in terms of the criminal justice system. And uh, before I go into that, just know that for the first time in 30 years now, Sheriff Hennessy, who has guided us and led us and who has established a very strong legacy within our department and given us so much, has decided to retire out and move on with his life after laying a very strong foundation for us right on the eve of this change. So uh, with that being said, I, I took a look and felt that in regards to that situation, the realignment of uh, state prisoners coming back into our system and becoming a part of our community with oversight at the county level, not at the state level. Uh, I felt that it was very important that someone from within our department, somebody with the experience uh, within our department, be the person for the job of sheriff. And that person is me. Uh, I've risen through the ranks. Uh, I've been promoted by the sheriff four times now. I've gotten his professional endorsement in terms of doing the job. I've also had experience at all levels of the job itself. Management, operations, administration, the different divisions that we have. I've been a part of this department and uh, I hope to continue to be a part of that department in terms of what I do. Uh, one thing also I have, uh, I have a very strong affiliation. I have a love for this department and the people that I work with every day. I'm absolutely completely dedicated to carrying on the sheriff's legacy, to carrying on the found and building on the foundation that he's given us uh, as we face these new challenges in public safety. Uh, I have the universal support of the two labor organizations who represent the women and the men in our department. Uh, I have the support of the people who do the job every day. And I think that's very important when facing these new challenges to have people behind you that are ready and able to do the job and do it well. Uh, I also have a close personal tie to the department. Uh, my very first day on the job as a deputy, I was late. I relieved by uh, the person I was supposed to replace late, and she was not very happy with me. So in order to make up for that, I eventually married her. And with her, I have five children now. So if that doesn't speak to my dedication to this department, I don't know what else I could possibly do. Uh, I'm raising our five children now in the city of San Francisco, and they are nine, seven, and I have three that are three years old, and I want them to grow up in a safe San Francisco. So I have a very close personal vested interest in being a part, proactively being a part of that safety. Uh, also, in terms of my vision for this department, because I don't want to say that we just want to carry on what the sheriff has given us. I want to move beyond what the sheriff has given us. We uh, engage in establishing programs and things which will have people uh, build a foundation with each individual, and we call them the five keys. We have our educational component, our recovery component, we have our uh, focus on employment, on family, and on community. And all of those different keys, they're very important, uh, each in and of itself, and we're very strong when it comes to our educational component. We have a jail built around a high school. I have been a part of managing and uh, it's been very successful and I hope to bring that to the next level now. Now that we will have people coming into our system with uh, the state prisoners coming back in, with people sentenced to county jail for longer periods of time, I hope to continue their education on once they receive their diploma, move them on into college level courses to give them additional educational chances and opportunities. I also want to improve on and move towards uh, growing in the areas of economic uh, employment development. Uh, we have programs in place right now. We have an affiliation with Goodwill in terms of our truck driving school. We have computer classes in the classrooms. We have laptops we give them to learn those skills. I'd like to move beyond that and get them to the next level when it comes to that. And finally, as a department, I want to see us more in the community. I want us to do community outreach, to be involved with meetings such as this, to have us out there, to be on the front end of things so that we don't get too many people on the back end of things. So my main goal as the sheriff will be to make sure we ensure the reintegration of these individuals back into uh, our communities from our custody. And 
By doing that, we create a safer place for us all. So if you're interested in a candidate with uh, the experience, with the support of the people who actually do the job, I'm the person for the job. Thank you. Oh, and I just want to point out that the person in green won on the, uh, the, the, the election thing, and I, uh, my campaign colors are green, so just keep that in mind, please, when, I, when you start picking the votes. Anybody have any questions for me? Your name again? Paul Miyamoto. Miyamoto, okay, yes. thank Did you. I forget to say that at the beginning? No. Probably okay. not. Okay, good. That's always good, right? Yeah. <coughs> yes. All right, the question was uh, my administrative experience. Actually, uh, when I was in the department, after a few years, I was picked to join the training unit. Uh, I helped to develop our field training manual. So that was a task given to me at my very first promotion as a senior deputy. I eventually became the manager of the training unit, and for five years I spent there. One of the interesting there, interesting things there is that I have to help manage uh, state funding. We get state funding for our training and our professional standards. Uh, and in addition to that, uh, in and out of the jails, in and out of our patrol units, I moved on to uh, our investigations unit. So I was responsible for both criminal investigations and internal affairs investigations. So those are the areas where I've had experience administrative in our department. Yes. Uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me. I'm sorry, we're not going to take questions. We've got lots oh, of sorry. candidates okay. to go through. Um, we want to get